Hi everyone. It is um, Tuesday night and I am going to stream cooking and I have Alex as my guest tonight. Hi everyone. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the Malmex stream. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> How are you tonight, Mal? Vagabond says you look oddly like Al. Alex, yes. <laughs> I'm Alex, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you, Vagabond. We're making jambalaya tonight, and um, I was going to do this um, by myself, but then last night Alex was like, oh, jambalaya, and then he started singing. Well, and then I was like, do you want to be my guest tomorrow? And he was like, yeah. So he's here tonight with me and he's going to be doing a lot of the prep work because um, doing that sucks for me right now. Oh, we forgot the light. Help. Oh my God, there's oh, a light. The light. Oh, I like yeah. looking dramatic and ominous. Yeah. Okay, well, there'll be a light in a minute. So um, there are multiple jambalaya songs. There right? are. We had to check. Striking. Oh my god. Ah. All right. That's better. Anyway, Alex is going to do all the prep. Um, we're making jambalaya, and the first thing to do is chop all of our vegetables, which are going to be bell pepper, onion, and then celery. So the I'm holy gonna, trinity. It's the holy trinity. I'm going to leave that to you. Alrighty. And I'm going to read some alerts. Are these garden grown? Those two little ones are, and I don't oh, know how buddies. much you're going to be able... Oh, oh, that's just scarring. That's not anything. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how much you're going to be able to get out of those, so... Um, Is this our refuse bowl? No, that's for um, putting all the vegetables in. Okay, I'll just toss it in the sink. That works, too. <laughs> we have a subscription from Super Baby Daisy. Welcome! Oh, it's starting to turn red, too. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, we have seven months from a lost now vagabond. Also seven months from Dark Overord. Six months from Jet Prower. Six months from JF Samella. Uh, six months from Fred Fred Burger. Six months from Gaxtronaut. Um, seven months from Rowlet Hoot. So many people hitting sevens and sixes. Six months from Winparthia. Seven months from Storms 002. Six months from Gel 89. And four months from Lone Wolf 042. Thank you all. How kind of them. Yes. Teresa, Stephen, um, Chaz says we can't see the cutting. Well, I'll just do it in midair. Well, <laughs> Alex no. is really tall. Well, no, it's fine. Don't, you don't need don't to do see my face. Okay, there Ooh, we this go. One's kind of. Here, I can. I can just squat. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be great for my thighs. How's, how's that gonna go? How long? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you you going for the handheld shot? Good, thank you. Now I could get out another cutting board. That's not Super Mario Galaxy. It's gimmick. <laughs> <sighs> so I have these two tiny bell peppers from the garden that grew really flat. I don't know what's up with them, but these are the last peppers from the garden. And then the ones we got at the store the other day were kind of small and sad looking, so I was like, we'll just use all of them. They're very pretty. They are I mean, pretty. they have a unique shape. They do, and there might be a little bit of heat to them for all I know mm. because they were next to all the hot peppers. Mm -hmm. And peppers will cross, cross pollinate. Breed. Yeah. Nice. We have a seven month resub from Fossix, thank you. And four months from Ivar Schunebeck. Grackle Pex says, I get to do a cook alongside, although my dinner is not as exciting. You want a nice dice on these? Um, yeah, a decent, like, what did I write? Chopped? Chopped. And do, like, a pretty good, yeah. Listen, no one's bleeding tonight. Is that a promise? That's a promise. I believe <laughs> in knife safety. Reload asks, what's the best time for bell peppers to grow? Um, we had good peppers growing in like July and August. Is that too rough? Maybe a little smaller. A little smaller? All right. Like, yeah, yeah. I will take that into account. You can throw those in the bowl. The bowl, are, oh my God. It's dizzying if yeah, you watch the screen. 
And he goes so close thing. on faces, it drives me nuts because I hate that. He spent a lot of money on that camera. I know. And that light. What am I putting in the jambalaya? Well, this is the Holy Trinity, which are the three vegetables that are most common in um, Cajun, like, and, Cajun Creole and Creole cooking. cooking. And it's bell peppers, onions, and celery. And the grocery store also had a really sad variety of celery. So we ended up getting the stuff that's already like made for snacking because that was really all they had. Oh, it'll work. It all chops the same. Yeah, that's what I figured. They had like one whole bunch of celery and it was like really wilted and like, you know how it looks like it gets when it's wet and starting to rot? Oh yeah, nobody likes it. Yeah, so there's just the bendy one. celery just sitting there like that, and we didn't want that. So other things that are going in this are andouille sausage. And um, sometimes I can only find smoked. And if you use smoked, you can use more Cajun seasoning, but this is preferred if you can find an andouille. Andouille is the way to go. I tell you, I, it has been a hot minute since I have been to Louisiana. I was in New Orleans. I was there for a family emergency in 2019, and it's been about it that long since I've had good Cajun food. Now, is there a decent amount of Cajun food in Louisiana, or not, Alabama? Uh, a fair bit, yeah. There's, there's, uh, well, we went to the fish market one time in Birmingham, the four mm. of us, when we went to uh, They Might Be Giants, and they got a lot, a lot of good stuff there. You can uh, sometimes find good stuff like in South Carolina I found. We mm -hmm. haven't really looked around much here in Raleigh. Mm -hmm. One of the best places we ever ate was in, um, was it in Lafayette? Yeah. And it was a restaurant that no longer exists. They closed in 2020 and they had the best soup. Mm. It was a mushroom soup. It had one best soup in the state. Or something? Yeah. For like several years. On the menu, it was like, this is one of the best soup in the whole state. And it was so good. Was that on your drive through? Yeah, when we drove from. Cross country? Your place to our place that one year. <laughs> Which was a very, very long trip. He ain't too sad. No, so that was the best one out of the, all of them. Yeah. I almost got um, like a yellow bell pepper because those ones looked better, but mm, mm, mm. I found one good green one. And like green bell peppers will turn red eventually. Not on your counter, but on the plant eventually. <laughs> What's up with all the sad ingredients tonight? I don't know. There's just a lot of sad <laughs> produce at the store. <laughs> Now the key to uh, good knife skills is to not cut your fingers. Yes. So just keep that in mind when you're chopping. If it feels like the knife is gonna slip and, and, and do you one of these, mm -hmm. just move your fingers out of the way at the last second. It's all about reflexes. Oh no. Vagabond says, food processors are great. <laughs> yeah, I got one. They're a pain to clean. Yeah, it's so many things to wash, right? I know, because you have the bowl and the knife and the lid, and mine has this, like, all of these safety features, which means you have to, like, use all of the things, otherwise it won't run. This way it's just the knife and the cutting board and occasionally a little bit of first aid. <laughs> So you guys have been to Louisiana. Yeah, just the once. Mm. We it, stayed in um, New Orleans downtown. Ooh, in the, were you in the French Quarter? We were near it. That's wise, it costs like $40 to park your car for an hour in the yep. French Quarter. Brandon isn't there, isn't he under the couch? <laughs> There's so much multitasking when you're doing a cooking stream. Like you got to be chopping, and reading, and paying attention to chat. You just everything. have to chop. Okay. Talk. 
Okay. <laughs> now, one of the things that I also really enjoyed was um, the architecture in Louisiana, mm. in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. It was really pretty. New Orleans is, I mean, Louisiana in general, but especially New Orleans has, is just a, a fascinating place because it's very, very culturally distinct yes. in America as having like French influence and Spanish influence and a lot of surviving just fusions of cultures like French, Spanish, American, French, Canadian, African, indigenous, all just sort of mashed together into a mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful melting pot that gives us things like jambalaya. Fossick says, did you try the beignets? Did you go to um, Café du Monde? Café du Monde. I don't think I did. No. We went to Café du Monde and had beignets. There's mm. powdered sugar like all over, like the yeah. floor, everywhere. Okay, that's a little bit of chopping done. Honestly, I think it's the worst of the chopping. Yeah, peppers are annoying. Too many contours. One of the other things we had was a gator po' boy when we were there. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there was a guy in the restaurant we were at that looked just like my dad. <laughs> Cajun I, Mark. I know, I really wanted to take a picture of him and send it to my dad. Oh, it reseals. Okay. Yeah, this was the snack celery that's like washed and cut already. They put the sticker on the root. Yeah, that was weird. Neat. All right, you cut through the root. Slicer in half. Keep the celery out of the back. There we go. So it says a cup of celery. I don't know how much we'll make a cup. Probably a little more than that. I've made this recipe many times. I probably make it at least once a year. Now you're not a fan of celery. Is that only raw celery? Um, and celery flavored wine or? Yes, I don't like celery. If it's cooked in something and minor like this, mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is one third of the Holy Trinity. I know, but. It is, it is a bit sacrilegious a bit. to issue celery. So I'm glad we're including it. famous celery flavored wines. Chill days. I had gotten a Moscato at some point and it had a very strong aftertaste of celery. It was awful. That was the wrong end. Yeah, I realized that <laughs> <laughs> slightly too late. It's fine. I'll make do. That's what, you know, that's the spirit of Cajun cooking. Simple food uh, made in simple ways with local ingredients and you just make do with what you got. If you happen to chop the onion the wrong way or chop your finger off or you know any any such thing, you just you make you find a way to make it work. See, I just don't like the texture of celery and the flavor. I like it's stringy. No one likes that. Who well you like don't that? it's not you 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 kinda you gotta chomp down on it hard. Dislike. And I never liked ants on a log, even when I could have peanut butter. <laughs> like that would sometimes be the snack for like Girl Scouts or whatever. Are you ever wistful for the peanut butter days? I am, but only for peanut butter cups. But the Trader Joe's sunflower butter cups are really good. Mm. I assume that's what peanut butter cups taste like as I haven't had one since 2004. Chop, 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 chop. Chop. Thank you for the sound effects. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Uh, okay, I did these. I do these. Now that's an onion. Correct. <laughs> you can identify you vegetables. <laughs> That's what I call a dice. It is a lovely dice. Thank you, thank you. And then you get to the end and you just kind of, eh. I really do like chopping onions. This one is quite mild. It's not um, causing me to weep, which is good. 
Sometimes they do. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's fine. Let's get you in here. You know what I've never owned? Hmm. And it seems like it would be a good idea, but I've just never followed through with buying one. A bench scraper. Oh, I have a bench scraper. Oh my God, you've been living in luxury this whole time. I know, it's one of my favorite kitchen utensils. You've been holding that on us. You want it? Yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> you do have celery to chop and sausage and shrimp. Mm. I like getting my hands all Get onion juicy. <laughs> Let them hold a scraper. Oh my god. Listen, go to restaurant supply stores and buy things. They're cheaper and better. It's a Winco. <laughs> it sort of It's cuts. not as sharp as a knife. No. When is Sharp Day Part 2? These are getting a little dull, I think. I know. Um, I don't know when Sharp Day Part 2 is. Mm. I thought about it. But then I thought about how my body's been through enough trauma, and I don't know if I need yeah. to like, um, yeah, put more holes in it right this second. You gotta space out the sharp implements going into your body. Yeah. Chill day says you've had enough sharp days for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing well. I'm so ready to scrape this bench. When you use the bench scraper, I think that's what sent up all the onion fumes, because now it, my eyes Yes, are I was noticing that. I spoke too soon about the whole not weeping part. I think that's because you used a slightly dull... A very, yeah. Yeah. Is it really... Do we really... Do scientists know what causes onions to... Make you cry. Oh my God, look at all that. I know, it's great. Okay, look at this. Get it in your eyes. Look no, at it. Look I don't. No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Boy, that's one, that's one whole onion. We got a, a good, a, a, a decent sized uh, green bell pepper and then two I little think ones. It's, um, and then a whole big old white onion. One part there. bell pepper, one part celery, two parts onion. I'm, I think that's the ah, ratio. Ah, yeah. That, that makes sense to me. I think that's what I've heard too, but you can always customize the Trinity to your taste. True. Sorry, I'm a frequent hand washer. I just don't like getting multiple kinds of juice on me at once. And we just got a lot of celery here, so let's give this a chop. Keep the, keep the digits out of the way. Please do. Easy peasy. Now are these good? That's fine, Okay, yes. all right. Ooh, that smells like celery. Uh-huh. <sighs> I can't believe Chaz didn't set up jambalaya alerts for us. There's still time. 500 bits and I'll sing jambalaya. 600 <laughs> bits and I won't. <laughs> Getting to be about a cup. Chess Let's... says, Alex, you are the alert. <laughs> it's 500 bits from Nat Common. He says, Sing, Alex. <sighs> Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go, me oh my oh. Me gotta go, pull the piro down the bio. All right, that's one verse. <laughs> <laughs> well, half of a verse. 600 bits from Decoy Troy, who says, Don't. All right. <laughs> How you doing, Decoy Troy? Good to hear from you. Um, my favorite thing about jambalaya is the fact that it tastes good. It's a free jambalaya fact for you. Very courageous. <laughs> it is good, very courageous. 500 bits from Jell who says, keep singing. My Yvonne, the sweetest one of me, oh my, oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bayou. That, was, your that was the completion of verse one. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for your uh, support. It gets uh, more difficult and 
progressively more dangerous the smaller the thing you're chopping gets. Look at this little buddy. So I like scared. to just take like a wild, just a wild stab at the, the last little bit. Okay, is it benching time? It is benching time. Um, 1100 bits from Aldo who says, but what if you did both? <clears throat> Jambalaya, the crawfish pie, and the filet gumbo. Cause tonight I'm going to see my Mashach Amiya. Pick guitar, fill fruit jar, and Bigayo, son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. I thought recitation would be a nice, nice middle ground. I think that went easier when you used your hands. Uh, instead of like the, ni the yeah, knife. Yeah. Okay. You also were able to hold more. Yeah, it's true. We have hands for a reason. And that reason is making jambalaya. Mm -hmm. The uh, only reason. All right. That is quite a hefty keep and help in helping the Holy Trinity. Will right you there. put that over by the Dutch oven, please? Uh, of course. Ooh. And next is the andouille that needs chopped into what? Little jambalaya slices. sized pieces. Yeah. And okay. I'm supposed to use half a pound, and this is 12 ounces. It all comes out in the wash. I agree. Have you given your full ingredients? I haven't. I've just been um, listing them as we've said them. So um, you need oil, because you're going to be sauteing some of this. Um, half a pound of andouille sausage, large onion, a uh, cup of bell pepper, a cup of celery, salt, Cajun seasoning, uh, white rice, diced tomatoes in, uh, what is that, four and a half ounces? And you need the juice with that. Uh, garlic, chicken broth, bay leaves, you are scaring me. Uh, dried thyme, pound of shrimp, and um, some water on hand. Is this fully cooked? I don't know, is it? Yeah, it is. Just waiting for you to notice I was gonna grab one. <laughs> I'm keeping the knife clear. Feel free to grab. Mm. That's good. That's cold and dewy. So I'm thinking like little little chunky boys. Yeah. Like slices off of that, or you think? I think smaller? slices off of that. No. So after this, we're going to be able to get started on things. Yes, there is there is a lot of prep in in uh, this style of cuisine. But the beautiful thing is, you get it all. You get your mise en place, and then you're just good to go. You dump it all in. Well, you do the right things at the right that. time with your butter and your flour and your everything. Uh, shrimp. Oh my God, you, you getting the shrimp yeah. on this? This is, this is fancy jambalaya. You got the shrimp called prawn. Oh, they're shrimp. Yeah. Haley says, Alex, I got eight consecutive wins in endurance Puyo Puyo. Now I have the record. Nice. Congrats. The shrimp are like the last thing to go in, so I normally just leave those in the fridge until we're set. Mm -mm -mm. And those are raw though, so we're gonna get all of this stuff don't out of the way. Don't taste the shrimp. Yeah, don't <laughs> taste the raw shrimp. We have 300 bits from Game 3 Lover who says, I'm on a break from class right now. What is jambalaya? Jambalaya is a Cajun um, Creole dish from Louisiana. That's a mix of various cuisines that have been brought together by that region and the people there. It's very mysterious. Uh, there's no clear like old war, old world antecedent, like any European thing. Some people think it's like <clears throat> the Spaniards attempt to make paella and they didn't mm. have saffron and so they kind of adapted to local ingredients. Some people think it's like uh, originates with indigenous cuisines of people in the area. Uh, we don't really know. It's just a sort of simple classic recipe of like, let's take all the stuff we have and put it together in a delicious dish. It has a lot of vegetables, it has sausage, shrimp. And now it has, uh, you're, you're making it with tomatoes, right? I am. Can I have a piece of sausage? Okay. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Wow. 
How is it? You don't have to keep crawling the whole way back to the couch. <laughs> There's also rice in it. Yes. White rice. Mm -hmm. right. Remember, Alex promised no blood. There will be no blood. I'm gonna be real glad when we're done with the knife. There's not even any like animal products in this at all. This is vegan, right? Uh, it's not vegan. <laughs> not with that. What? Oh no. <laughs> is he making you nervous too? We're gonna be okay now. It's all about confidence. <laughs> And also just not letting, not making any mistakes at all. And being 100% focused at all times. Be one with the knife. Haley says, do we need to take a knife class? Be the knife. Become the knife. Accept the knife like into your body. I'd like to take a knife class. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten better. I feel, can there be that much to a knife class? Yeah. Like to necessitate spending hours and paying. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they also teach you like the proper to, way to sharpen <clears throat> and like. How to julienne, mm -hmm. how to do fancy like cucumber helixes for, for See, that'd cocktails. See, that be fun. Mm, yeah. I suppose. Chess says, quote, except the knife into your body, end quote, is exactly what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> No one's getting knifed tonight. It's my favorite Steely Dan song. Mmm. <laughs> the bit on the end with all the casing. Nice and chewy. All right. Ooh, we got a we got a fire going now. <laughs> all right. So over here on the stove, most of this will be on the stove now, Stephen, except the shrimp prepping. We're going to put some olive oil in a soup pot. I'm using my Dutch oven. I don't know if I put enough. I think I need a little bit more. You okay? Anyway, this is about a tablespoon. So we're just gonna let this get a little warm. I should have started this a little bit earlier. And then we're gonna fry the andouille sausage and then we'll start putting everything else in. So yeah, you could use like a regular soup pot like um, this one or this one. But this one's nice for something like this. The enameled cast iron is yes. so handy for sauteing. Costco has a two pack um, of another brand on sale and I've heard good things. So if you're looking for a Dutch oven, Costco has you covered. Ooh. What are we making? Uh, Sakura guy, we are making jambalaya. Jambalaya crawfish pie and really gumbo. I mean, we're not making crawfish pie or, or gumbo. <laughs> We're just making jambalaya. Crawfish pie sounds difficult to source ingredients for. Yeah. It's a long story. You just go to the side of the road and find you a wet hole full of mud. Costco sponsorship one, I wish. <sighs> this does take longer to heat up than my silver aluminum pot. Mm. But it retains the heat so It does. Well. Now the hardest thing about making this I found is the rice will burn to the bottom of the pan. Mm, mm. That is the hardest thing about making jambalaya. Which does make this a little bit harder to deal with because like the heat doesn't come down as fast. Well, you just gotta keep it moving, right? Yeah, you gotta keep it moving. Gotta add liquid if you need to. Look, there's so many pans happening. <laughs> I know. Uh, I saw you pan to me as I was saying that before the words left my mouth. <clears throat> Get on over here. Cameraman. Cameraman. Get over here. 
Look at that. Look at that sizzle. Capture the sizzle. Do you need me to put my cam my uh, microphone in the my lap mic in the pot so it can get the sizzle? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I can just lean over it. Or hold on, I can just simulate it. <laughs> That's roughly what it sounds like. <laughs> they can hear it. That's an approximation. Nom, nom, nom. Cook us. Eat us. So, we love you. <laughs> this just needs you? to cook like two minutes till it starts getting a little bit of color on it. Mm -hmm. And then we will throw in the vegetables. Oh, I could, I could just eat that. Fine. <clears throat> so these are the shrimp. Um, they have tail on, so tails have to come off. Okay, but they're peeled and deveined. They are peeled and deveined. That's so thoughtful of the people. Um, at the and I would probably chop them into half, like, like little chunky boys. Yeah, just so they're chunky. All right. And they're like a little frozen, but that's okay. Sure. But there's a lot of liquid in here. Okay. So it will go everywhere. Are we using the whole bag? Yes. Excellent. Oh, there's some little large shrimp. We call this large. Well, in my day. Yeah, they look a little small to me. Down on the large. bayou, this ain't large. Mm. Oh, that smells like raw shrimp, and I love it. I love it. You can do that however you want. I normally throw the paper towel down because they are so wet and there is so much liquid yeah. with them. Just kind of gently massaging them out of the yeah. bag. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Y'all ever take cold showers? We have a seven month reset from Elfie Goldfish, thank you. Really wakes you up, gets the blood flowing. Um, I'm feeling that sensation right in my hand right now. Here, do you need this on to like rinse your hand off to like heat it up? <clears throat> that might, ow. Oh, I'm feeling the, the needling of the ice. <laughs> anyway, I think a, a, a cold frozen shrimp shower would be a great way to wake up in the morning too. There's something to this. Sausage smells really good. It does. It does. Just you wait until that uh, Trinity gets in there. Oh no. Oh no, you lost a shrimp. I'm gonna wash him. He's fine. Let's give these a sec. <laughs> Do you want like a bowl for shrimp tails or something? I can just leave them to the side. Okay. See, when I do that, like my hands ache because um, all the blood flow leaves my fingers. From the, the pulling them frozen out of the bag? or Yeah. yeah? It hurts a lot mm. to me. Mm. I mean, my hand's a little numb, but I'm, I'm surviving. <laughs> Noah says Ray knows. Yeah, that's why it hurts. Ah, that could be. Uh -huh, that could, that's uh -huh. a compelling medical theory. A compelling. But let's leave it to the experts. All right, so. My uncle saw a Facebook post once. Sausage has been in for like, I don't know, two minutes and there's some color on it. Ooh. So I'm gonna dump in all the vegetables. You can use this bowl if you want now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little skeptical. I'm like doubting myself as to whether I have the tails off because I can't actually feel with this hand. Uh, but I think I got them. Oh, I was gonna chop these. I'll do that after I finish the peeling, or the tailing. All right, the other thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some salt to this and some Cajun seasoning. And the salt is um, probably not gonna be enough. I'll have to add more later to taste. Now, what is your Cajun seasoning of choice? Um, I'm using McCormick's Cajun because that's mm -hmm. what I have. And this is going to be a teaspoon of the um, Cajun seasoning. 
This is also something I find I need to add a little bit more of later. There's nothing like fish, fish, shrimp. The smell of shrimp slime. It just tastes like, or smells like going to the beach. Steven, I guess you didn't get the experience of going to the beach because you lived at the beach. <laughs> exactly. Seafood restaurants weren't special for him. Sorry, they weren't. <laughs> All right. I'm just prepping things like opening cans over here. You so good, little poop buddies. And shrimp poops. Chat, what's the coldest thing you've ever touched? I had dry ice in a something I ordered once, but I didn't touch it with my hands because I knew that was a mistake. No, this is ni liquid nitrogen. Mm. Can you eat dry ice? No, it's like too you cold. Touch it with your hands. It's. I think they call that a dipping dot. <laughs> I think the esophagus can withstand uh, pretty cold temperatures. I drank a, I drank a glass of iced tea We do not endorse following once. anything Alex says ever. <laughs> That's a good policy. Our lawyers have... God, it's so cold. Oh, there's water here. And it can be any temperature you want. Oh my God. I know, we live in... <sighs> 2023. Oof. Okay. Yes. You got all the shrimpies? Uh, I have not chopped them, oh, okay. them yet, but I was gonna. That's we got lots of time. Getting them all, getting them all detailed. <sighs> so after I put in the vegetables, it's like six minutes until they're like cooked more. Mm, I'm starting to smell them. So apparently there are two kinds of jambalaya, roughly speaking. You were telling me about this before There's we started. Creole jambalaya and Cajun jambalaya. Creole jambalaya, aka red jambalaya, it's made with tomatoes. It's more of, it's like the thing that you'll find in New Orleans, whereas the more rural Cajun uh, variety does not have tomatoes in it. Is that the only difference? Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> no, I, I, I assume there's millions of ways to make jambalaya. Yes. It's however, however your grandma made it is the right way to make it. And if your grandma didn't make it, then however my grandma made it, that's the right way to make it. We have a seven month resub from Pete Cal, thank you. That is all the prep we well, besides chopping the shrimp. Yeah. Uh, should I rinse, give these a quick rinse? I don't think anything? so. All right. Oh baby. In half? Yeah, that seems good. Uh -huh. Shrimp cooked down pretty far. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be, are, are we welcome to eat this when it's done? The jambalaya? Yeah, or do we need to leave? Um, I don't know. Oh. Haley, do you think that um, Alex is allowed to eat this? Can I eat it? You can. <laughs> you 
You've been working very hard and you have not eaten today. <laughs> She's had one singular egg today. Hold on, pan back to Haley. Okay. I am Haley and I have eaten one egg today and I'm very hungry and I would like to eat jambalaya, please. I'm good at Puyo and I'm pretty. Yeah, uh, hot tip folks, eat more than an egg every day. <laughs> I know they, there's that old saying about an egg a day. <laughs> an uh, egg a day is all you need. <laughs> An egg a day staves off death, and like for a while it does, but um, you really, you really, your goal should be more than just staving off death. If you think about it, there's so many things to enjoy about food and nutrition. I'm adding a tablespoon of garlic. It's gonna probably be two tablespoons of garlic. It is. Ooh. I mean, to be fair, we're putting a lot of uh, everything in there. Yes. Like there's more than, more andouille than called for. And there's a little more shrimp than called for too. A little more too. shrimp. After that shrimp has, not shrimp, garlic has a few seconds. My we'll flesh is still intact. Things. I thought for a second I nicked myself with a knife. But I am, in fact, whole and complete in all fleshly manners. I'm very glad. <laughs> Interesting. Good to know. Haley wrote question mark. Snuck in there, trying to get past me. That shrimp, shrimp tail. Mm-mm-mm. Now, D-Tran says, what's for dinner for the Extra Life gang? <laughs> one egg for everyone? Just one. Uh, uh, snack crate is a little thin these days, right? But we, you, you can have egg crate. Oh yeah, we could have egg crate. Just fill up a, a 20 gallon storage tote with um, hard boiled eggs. Mm. That's all you really need. What did we promise Thomas? Uh, bread and water. Bread and water. We said, Thomas, it's your first extra life. You get to have bread and water. <laughs> no, no chicken nuggets for Thomas? Aren't you doing, isn't that a thing that people can donate for? Is uh, Stephen and Thomas's chicken eating contest? No. That's a GameCube game, right? <laughs> Are you accepting homebrew games? Because I'll develop a, <laughs> a McNugget eating contest. Wii game. You just have to swallow, whoever swallows the Wiimote first wins. All right, these vegetables are soft, so we're gonna add in a cup of white rice. Oh boy. And I have my measuring zojirushi thing in here. Anyway, there's the rice. Oh, you can smell it just from the picture. Now we're gonna pour in a can of tomatoes. These are just diced. I see how it's starting to stick real bad. We gotta deglaze that. So we're gonna also pour in our broth. This is actually stock because um, that's what we grabbed. And this Science is, has never figured out the difference between broth and stock. What is this? This is 32 ounces. So we're gonna put one and a half cartons in and I'm gonna keep the other half carton on hand for when I inevitably need more liquid. Because the rice is gonna take up a lot of the liquid and the rest of it's gonna evaporate pretty far. I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any rice stuck to the bottom of the pan as it is already. <clears throat> mm. 
Remember folks, after you chop raw shrimp, be sure to wash your hands and cleanse your torso extensions completely so that you don't get shrimp juice all over your neighbor or your neighbor's wife. It's the Twelfth Commandment. Thank you for not getting shrimp juice on my neighbor. Um, let's see, what else do we need here? Uh, five bay leaves. Five whole bay leaves? Mm-hmm. One. Two. Some of these are tiny. I did buy a new thing of bay leaves because I knew a lot of these were like tiny and broken. One, two, three, four, five. Those are so small. Let's add in six and seven because they're so tiny. Look how tiny they are. They're yeah, and there's more bigger. stuff in there than anticipated. I did. I just thoroughly washed my hands and forearms before before cleaning the. <laughs> raw shrimp cutting board and not after. It's fine. Uh, what else goes in this right now? Thyme. Fourth teaspoon of thyme. Hey Steven, what's the status of the dishwasher? Dirty. Okay, that can all just go right in there. Oh, excellent. All right, now that all of this Woo. is in here, Stephen, you want to come over here so you can show it? <laughs> so now that this is all in here, I'm like, look at this, it's beautiful. Anyway, this needs to come up to a boil, oh, and then the we're going to simmer it. Others do covers. Are you sure this is? OK, I trust you. Anyway, once it gets to its little simmer boil, um, we're gonna put the lid on it, and then we're gonna cook it on low for 20 minutes. So we just gotta wait, but it's already pretty hot because I got some on my hand. Are you burning yourself with the delicious jambalaya? A little bit, yes. Oh no. I thought we talked about this. <laughs> Did we? I thought we talked about blood, not burning. I thought this was a no injury stream. Oh, injury, that's new. That wasn't what I we thought we were on. pro injury. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, Terry a gifted sub to Alex Singh's things. I'll, I'll take requests. I won't. I can't promise to know them, but I'll try anyway. <sighs> Mamma mia. Oh, you put everything in the bag. That's what she did. It's all trash. I see. Is that good to sit or do you want me to keep it moving? Uh, you could keep it moving. We're trying to get it to um, a low simmer. And then after that, we will put the lid on it. Mm. And then it will be cooking. It'll be the majority of it's done at that point. Alex. Mm. Alex will invent mm. any song given a title, Jeff says. Now hold on, that's not the deal, but it has to be an ostensibly real song. And you have to name the artist. Haley says Alex kills it at Old Man River. <laughs> Only some of the verses. I think the worst burn I got was um, a steam burn mm. when I was microwaving some soup as a child. It just lasted forever. I hated it. Terry gifted a sub to Old Man River. <laughs> that Old Man River, he just keeps rolling along to these streams. Me. The dishwasher was not closed all the way. 
SlickDuke sent 500 bits and said, per Haley's request, Alex, sing Old Man River. <laughs> uh, boy, I don't remember how to... Don't remember the... <laughs> No, I remember a version that you should not sing anymore. Um, let's just launch into the middle of it. Old man river, that old man river, he must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling, he keeps on rolling along. He don't plant taters, he don't... Um, no, no dancing, no swinging of the arms. That's enough old man river, thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> Thank you, Haley, for suggesting Old Man River. <laughs> he is a good singer. That wasn't even the bass register. <laughs> I pulled out a Ziploc bag in case we had things that we weren't going to throw in, but um, that didn't happen. Mm. I mean, it's a big pot. You may as well yeah. put everything in. If we put the lid on, it should get up a ton faster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that rice seems to be doing okay on the bottom there. For now. Until it gets a little softer. And there's less liquid. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Haley, I agree, with, but like for myself, like I'm not good at being in tone either. It's taking every ounce of willpower that I have not to just drop this nonchalantly on the ground. <sighs> Mike says, Haley can play instruments. It's true. I can play instruments. I was in you band. Want, I know. Which, you want to talk about some of them? Some of them. Which one some do you of feel many? most interested in, like, working on? Uh, I mean, I do own a piano keyboard that I very seldom play. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that I would play if I had more free time. <laughs> um, but as a kid, I was, I was in the band. I played the snare drum. And there were three of us in the band. Me, no, four of us. We were like, it was a beginner's band. And it was a snare drum player? So the, the, there was a guy, his name was Ron Peters, that would travel around to the different Catholic schools in the diocese and do band, band practice one day a week. Mm -hmm. So he like worked at five different schools. Uh, and our, our beginner's band was four people. It was just me on the snare drum, uh, a, a guy on sax, and two clarinets. Such variety. And we were um, like 11. So it was just a lot of like horrible reed screeching and me going. So that's why I quit band. Clarinet is a beautiful instrument, but not when it's played by a child. All right, this is now simmering. Ooh. So we're gonna reduce it to medium low and I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. I do wish I could play the accordion though. I know Steven's answer is um, banjo. Oh, you were holding the camera for a long time there. Look, it's on a tripod now. Where is timer? Set a timer for 20 minutes. Cameras are fun. We have a few clarinet players. Mike played clarinet, Haley did, I did, Vosix. Josh did, right? Really? Didn't he say clarinet? Thanks, Diane. I'm pretty yeah. sure Josh played like, clarinet. Didn't went, didn't go to school. Somebody always <laughs> says I played clarinet. Never. I thought he played the goat. Salyan played clarinet, Jams played bass, Storms played clarinet, Aqua Brandy played clarinet. I picked, Josh is here. Hi, Josh. Josh says clarinet. <laughs> oh, it's Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. 
I picked up bass clarinet um, junior year when um, all the other clarinetists took private lessons and therefore got all of the first chair stuff and I was tired of having third chair. And I was also having um, embouchure problems. Mm. And by that I mean like my embouchure was more advanced than the mouthpiece on my clarinet and I didn't want to buy a new clarinet because I would have had to have bought it. So I switched to bass. And then I got solos, which was cool. Is that, the Apple Watch is waterproof, right? You can just do this. Yeah. Neat. So with this, um, like I said, the rice will stick to the bottom all the time. So every little bit, I just go over and I give it a good stir and I put the lid back on. I played viola for all of one year in second grade. Your school had a viola for second graders? When I went to, when my parents <coughs> got divorced, we went to one school district for one year and then mm -hmm. we transferred to the school district I was in for the rest of my K-12 education. And the one that so, you were at for one year was rich? Was it a nicer school? Uh, the nicer school is the one I went to after. Oh, that's good. They just didn't have a strings program. Oh. Uh, I believe it. But I played viola for a year and it was very difficult. I remember being very confused about like, they had to put tape over like the, I don't remember the name, like where the frets would be on a guitar so you knew where to put your fingers. Mm -hmm. And I just, I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't figure that out without the tape. I mean, the viola sounds hard, especially when you're in second grade. Yeah. the instrument is like larger than you are. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know why I picked viola. We had the option between violin, viola, and cello. I don't know why I picked viola, but I remember picking it. So when I start to hear it hiss like that, that's mm -hmm. when I know I need to um, give it a good stir. Let's give it a good stir. Ooh, that is bubbling. You can also probably turn it down if it's really bubbling. It's, it's yeah, this is a good simmer. Okay. Noah says, I played violin for a hot minute. Tabby Stripe says, we started with tape, but you really don't look after a while and it's all muscle memory. See, I feel like tone deaf a little bit sometimes because I can't play by ear at all. Like I can sit there and if I'm trying to play on piano, I'll just, I'll play through like a whole set of keys and not find the note I want. And I'm like, I don't know which one of these it is. It's in here somewhere. It just feels like they're all wrong. <sighs> yeah, every time I've, gotten into playing the piano, I just play by muscle memory, mm -hmm. which is fine if you have enough time to practice, but then I can only hold one song in my head at a time. I can read sheet music I learn music a new song, fine. I have to forget the old one. I just can't, and I also can't really memorize playing songs. Like on the clarinet, I really struggled. Mm. Every year I had to have to re-memorize the school song, which we had to have memorized for a lesson. Mm -hmm and I'd have to re-memorize it every year. And the reason I never kept it in my head was because I was color guard captain. And so I never had to play it. Because I was always, events, yeah. yeah. Now, when does the shrimp go in? The shrimp goes in and when the 20 minutes are up. At the very end? You don't want them overcooked. We have 300 bits from Sacro Selico who says, <laughs> rank the Raleigh group from best to worst chef, asking since I would like a cook off between the best chefs, Mal and Haley, and the worst chef insert here. Mm. That's way too mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone has their strengths. Yeah. There are things people are good at making. I mean, to be fair, like, I, I, I can cook things. Mm -hmm. Brandon can cook things. Mm -hmm. Dan can cook things. Brandon Josh made the salmon things. the other day. He sent me a photo and it had a uh, whole grain mustard on it, and it looked really good. I don't think there's any of us who are like Everyone bad. Yeah, well, Sacrosilica says, I wanna know who person. can't boil spaghetti. All of us can cook every, spaghetti. Every single person in Raleigh can cook, mm -hmm. actually. Every citizen in Raleigh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone in the collective can cook, and has like evidence of that. Yes. The other day, was it Dan? Dan said that he was making, um, like a mock chipotle thing, chicken or something? I can't remember. Now the minute you expand to like 
in the Runaway Guys extended universe, I can't help you. I got multiple people I could list that can't boil spaghetti. I'm sure they'd love it if you listed them. Yeah, I'm busy. This smells really good. Mm hmm Have I made this for you before, Alex and Haley? I don't think we have your tumble right now. Okay. Well. <laughs> Chelsea says you can say John. He's admitted on camera. <laughs> Yeah, I know Reese can cook. She and I have talked about that a lot. I mean, she and I also cooked for Coliseum. Mike says, did you see the sauce she made? No, I did not. She made it a sauce. <laughs> what kind of sauce did she make? She made it a sauce. I wanted the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I made the sauce I made the other week on stream. Was it tomato sauce? Oh yeah. She did tell me she picked all her tomatoes because it was going to be cold. Um, I made the lemon butter sauce the other day. I made that for you guys once mm -hmm. at your house. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, t they're still growing tomatoes up there? I think they're done now. It gets cold up in Canada. I think she had to go pick them all and bring them in. You know. And then had to deal with them. You know who else is from Canada? Cajuns. Mike says, I want the collective to make tomato sauce Italian style. Everyone gets a station. See. Mike says, we make 20 plus bushels and get over 100 jars. Mike, you'd have to send me a recipe. I've never made a sauce like that. See, the Cajuns. Cajuns is actually a contraction of Acadien, because the Cajuns were originally a group of French settlers that lived in Acadiana, in the eastern seaboard of Canada, what's now Newfoundland and uh, Prince whoever's Island. Island and Northern Maine. And, uh, and Labrador? La yes, Newfoundland and Labrador. Anyway, there were some uh, French settlers up there, and then uh, after the whole uh, French and Indian War, which was a campaign of the Seven Years' War, widely considered by many scholars to be the first global war. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the, British, the British sort of took control of that, that territory because they sort of won, won the, the part of the war. Uh, and they uh, eventually kicked out all the Acadians, all the French-speaking Acadians who were kind of exiled to, to America and it was kind of considered by modern standards a crime against humanity, but a lot of them <laughs> settle, ended up settling in uh, French-speaking, Spanish, dominated because of other stuff, uh, Louisiana. And then they ended up uh, turning into Cajuns, Pokemon style, and coming up with lots of delicious recipes through the fusion of many cultures in the area. Sorry, I read a lot of Wikipedia today. I just wanted to inject a little history. <laughs> um, my custodian that I had when I was teaching that was assigned to my part of the building was from Louisiana. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And he had a very, very strong Cajun accent. I, I, he was one of my favorite people I worked with. He was so much fun. Honestly, the, the, like, the linguistic diversity of Louisiana is one of the, one of the neatest things about it. Mm -hmm. and, like, I am a person who uh, really appreciates uh, regional dialects and accents. I'm also a person who does not imitate them on streams. Um, but yeah, there's just something something musical uh, about a <laughs> about a Cajun accent. Ooh, that's okay. That rice is You see how up. yeah how thick it's getting? Yeah. Like there's not. Stephen can't Did see. you see it? Here, just, just toss the Yeah, just toss, toss the camera, over. cords and all. Anyway, the rice is starting to really plump up and there's like less liquid in there now. So this is when I need to start keeping a closer eye on it because once that liquid is gone, the rice is gonna stick to the bottom of the pan. You are, oh my God. How, yeah. He's getting it up there. Do you want me to keep an eye on it? I'm just stirring it every few minutes. Okay. 
chicken. I have some more chicken stock. Mm -hmm. Haley says, embrace accents. Ask people where the bubbler is. <laughs> There's no bubbler in this house. Maybe someday mm -hmm. when we have our commune. Bubbler was a brand, right? Yes, so um, the Kohler factory in uh, Sheboygan um, came up with a drinking fountain and they, the brand was Bubbler. So like how Kleenex is a tissue brand. Yeah. And so Sheboygan being Eastern Wisconsin, like that's what people call it. Cause I remember there being like just some random like tiny area of Massachusetts or something where they also call it a Bubbler because they happen to sell some there or something. I think so, yeah. yeah. Words are fun. Pete Kale says bubbler used in Wisconsin and Metro Boston exclusively. I had a bubbler. You can make fun of people from Boston, that's fine. Woo! <laughs> 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 they love Soccer Dunkin' Donuts. Says, no bubbler like carbonated. It was based, the name came from how the water comes out of the faucet or the spout. It kind of bubbled out. Like originally, the the Kohler bubbler was like a center thing, and it came up and then kind of just went like this, like just one stream of water. So it kind of like bubbled. I miss good water. Instead fountains. of shooting from the side, which is how they all do now. I don't mean to get on my soapbox here, but I, I, I seem to remember when when I was a boy, and you drank from a water fountain. It was like a nice hearty stream of water. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I've drunk from a public water fountain in years that hasn't been just a sad little blurble. I can't remember the last time I tried to drink from a public fountain. <laughs> Actually, I can. We tried one downtown. And was it, it was a like, sad blurble? It was, but mm -hmm. it was also downtown. <laughs> <laughs> well, that downtown is where they should have the best water pressure. I think that was like a cast iron the, fountain the from best like public amenities. the 1870s or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Ski? Can I ski? I don't know if I can ski. Haley said you can ski. Hmm. I want to try skiing. I've only done cross country once and I hated it. <laughs> I've never gotten to try downhill. I've never tried cross country, but downhill seems more fun because you just kind of stand there and you go 50 miles an hour. <laughs> you, know, you don't really have that to put that much fun. work into it. Yeah. How's that doing? Great. Is it sticking yet? I don't think so. Okay. But I tell you what, it's going to stick to our ribs, ha ha ha, when we eat it. Jet Prower says, fountains I go to now are either you barely get anything or spray your face, it's so high. Fossick says, most of them that I see are ones you have to put a bottle on the bottom. Mm. Ah, those kind. Why don't they make hot water fountains? Like if you're, if you're, you know, out in the park and you got like a cup of instant ramen or something. I really think the city should get on this. Fossick says they do in China. That was going to be my mm, guess, but I mm. never saw any in China when we were there. Because everywhere serves hot water. It was very common. I can hear the cable for that or the, the pipe under <laughs> Oh, that's me. what that is. Okay. It's, <laughs> It's this. Yeah. Sapphire Becca says, they do go to Florida. Yeah, sometimes our cold <laughs> taps here in North Carolina are warm in the summer. Yeah, it really cut, cuts the refreshment factor a little bit of. That's why I use the fresh water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, what's our time looking like? Timers. Five minutes. Five minutes. Ooh. Bubble, bubble. So once that timer is up, we just have to add the shrimp and let them cook. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And discard the bay leaves, unless you want to eat them. Uh, I prefer not to, but I don't know. What, what's authentic? We don't eat them. Mm. I was reading a, a post that some people were talking about bay leaves and they were like, do they even do anything? 
and someone said, well, boil a pot of water and put a bay leaf in it, and I think you have to let it boil and simmer for a while. I think it's over 20 minutes, and they were like, and then see if the water has a flavor and a smell. And it's kind of licorice if I think I remember right. Mm. <laughs> you holding it again? Haley says, don't eat the bay leaf, it tastes like Pokemon. Vagabond says, fresh bay leaves add so much compared to dry ones. That's what mm. the custodian I worked with said. And he's like, next time I go to Louisiana and go home, I'll bring some back and you can try them. I don't, what is it? Is it like a tree? It's a tree. Is it like a big tree? I don't know how big it is, mm. but I know it's a tree. I wonder. I know what the leaves look like. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> I've seen a few. For all I know, it's a shrub, actually. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I, 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 it makes me wonder what the level of effort is in uh, growing one yourself. Mm. If you have to like have land or if it's just a potted thing. Yeah, like if you could keep it on your porch. Yeah. Like, um. Or if the climate would even allow it. Because don't bay leaves come from, you know, aren't they like a thing that was imported from the Think Middle about East like growing basil. in the olden times? Oh. So we could grow bay leaves. Oh, neat. They come from bays. Thank you, Fossil. Rhonda has a little olive tree she's growing that they have out on their porch in Florida. It's Don't like olives take tall. like 30 years to Yeah, fruit? they get big. Like they get the same size as apple trees, but yeah. hers is like this tall oh. and it's just this cute little olive tree. Oh. I remember learning all about olive trees and uh, in Spanish class in high school. Mm. Because I think olivo is Spanish for olive, but that's the fruit, and then oliva is the tree, and then olivar is an orchard or something, or I got it wrong, but you just change the letter on the end. We saw a lot of olive trees in Greece, and they're mm. kind of silvery, like the whole orchard of them mm. would be beautiful. Mm. But yeah, that's that. That was my takeaway. Is good lord, olive trees take a long time to actually yeah. bear anything productive. Yeah. You really got to be in it for the long haul if you're into olive cultivation. <laughs> I'm more into shrimp cultivation myself. You want to grow shrimp? Yes. Mm. Can you imagine? If you do a hydroponic setup for like vegetables, you can have shrimp as like the cleaners for the water. Oh my God. Really and then you also have shrimp. And then you eat them. Tilapia are good too. Thank you for your service. Get in the pot. How's that doing? It's looking pretty good. Um, there's there's a little bit of resistance on the bottom, but nothing appears to be sticking. Okay, well that means there's some rice. Because we're keeping it moving. Like, try and scrape that off. Yeah. Also, the shrimp can go in. Yeah, it's thickening up real good. Because we have 30 seconds left. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! Get the get the shot. Get the Shrimp shot. Oh yeah. Shrimp. Spank that shrimp. Anyway, you can stir them in. Sorry, the sound effects are really crucial. Oh boy. Oh that yes. There is something. Um, there is something that like the, the consistency of the shrimp goo adds to a dish like this, like a nice stewy dish. When you cook uh, gumbo, which is similar to jambalaya, but it has filet and it has uh, okra traditionally, you get a really nice consistency from the okra goo. I have a shrimp uh, Creole recipe that I really like. Mm. I haven't made it in a very long time. You can probably turn that down a little bit further, okay. and we no longer need the lid. All right. And now we just cook uh, like 10-ish minutes, okay. and then we're done. Cool. Steven, how do I make timer come up? You just scroll up. Where? 
Why? Why is this so hard? Why did they have Set to change Set a timer it? for 10 mimbos. They changed it in a way that it's better, but you need to practice before your stream. Oh, I asked it to set a timer for 10 mimbos, and it set a timer for an hour and 45 minutes. So let's use English. Set a timer for 10 minutes. There you go. <laughs> Some, I like to see when I'm when I'm talking to Siri on my I use it on the watch a lot because I don't want to fiddle with a watch, and um, I like to see what I can get away with, you know. You just kind of listen. You know you know who I am. I do. I, I, I find it fun to just say nonsense and see if people or computers understand it. We have a seven month resub from Phantom SVT. Thank you. Can leave that set. You don't have to okay. constantly stir it. It's got a little I'll bit more that bay leaf in it. A little bit more reducing to yeah. do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sapphire back a cooked tortilla bowl for we? one nimbo. <laughs> you were standing over there. I was. <laughs> You're working very hard. The camera is heavy. What? what? Oh, like the height? Okay. All right. Is that better? Is this better? <laughs> when is more overcooked anyway? Shenny Nerd asks. Stephen what? I like overcooked. It was yeah, fun. I liked overcooked there's, too. There's just too many video games. <laughs> I'm playing Persona 5. I'm in the third palace. It's great. Can I grab a uh, hot pad out of here? Thanks. So this gets hot, especially the metal ones. If you have one with a metal handle, it get hot. Is there overcooked on any extra life systems? Is it on Wii U? No. no. Mm. Steven says no. What's uh, what's the best four-player zany action party game for GameCube, <laughs> Game Wii, or Wii U? Not Switch. Go on, Dark Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> Did Mel ever learn one important message she missed for the Third Palace? No, I didn't play today. I took a nap. When I did you... not sleep well last night. We could do Fusion Frenzy if you did an original Xbox Extra Life. When is that happening? We are not doing. You all, you, how, you're close, right? To owning all of them? No, what? We could, there's so many quality original Xbox games that we could play. Halo 1. There's Halo 1. Halo 2. There's uh, the- Roland wants us to do PS2. The Rockstar game where you're like, a, there's rioting. State of emergency. State of emergency. There's uh, Brute Force, the like third person Halo clone. I'm adding a little more liquid to this. Oh, all right. Now, what motivated you to add more liquid? Is um, it, the, it was the, the consistency I wanted it to be when it was done, and we still have like ah, eight minutes. Gotcha. A good jambalaya consistency. It should look about like jambalaya. When it's done. <laughs> jambalaya should look like jambalaya. I mean, it's it, like it's not it's not a it's not super thick, right? It's not like a like an etouffee. It's not as thick as an etouffee would be. It's kind it's of... It's similar to a gumbo, but not as, like, glorpy. Maybe kind of, like, chili, but, like, the ingredients are all different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's something gross right here. It's probably, um... Shrimp goop? Juice. You want to wipe that up? Absolutely. Okay, thanks. thanks. You want to come do it? <laughs> well, the shrimp isn't done yet. So we're waiting on that. I just put the shrimp in. Oh, okay. We don't want them overcooked, so they go in last. I just thought you put it in like an hour ago. Ah. No, 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 like five minutes ago. <sighs> we have a seven month resub from Penguin Frog. Thank you. Creatures is certainly not slob. I mean, I. 
I'm still searching for like a, 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 a synonym for slop that's more like flattering to the food. Because to me, slop has no negative connotations. I love slop. One of the state fair foods is slop. Did you see really? that? Like, like legit hog slop? In the slop? name, it's called slop. Oh. I forgot what it is. There's something, I'd have to pull it. I mean, my mom used to always talk about when she was a kid having to get out there and slop them hogs. Yeah, because you would just put everything in a bucket and mm -hmm. then go pour it in the trough. So slop is even a verb. I cannot wait to be slopped with this jambalaya. My, my mom said you have a great voice and she's singing it Oh, that's very sweet of her. <laughs> I need to find out what the state fair food is now because it's going to haunt me. So this is, I'm with you, Alex. I like slop. I will sing any Hank Williams song for a dollar at any time. <laughs> <laughs> like you can, you can corner me at a doctor's appointment or like on the bus, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on the bus. Find out. Everybody me. loves it when you belt into, you belt out Hank Williams on the bus. It's called the slop bucket. It's. Uh, mm. Q fries barbecue with fries. Um, LPQ fry seasoning topped with authentic uh, Eastern North Carolina smoked chop barbecue with sweet and tangy barbecue sauce, loaded with homemade mac and cheese, coleslaw, and baked beans. Okay, so it is every barbecue restaurant food in a bucket. In a bucket. I love it. I gotta get that. Okay, oranges. The dill pickled donuts, though. I know. That's one of the ones that's top of my list. Okay, what's a Hank Williams song? Give me one. 100 bits from Tofu Noon, thank you. Pick one. I don't know any offhand. Steven Wood. I don't know who Hank was. Hank Williams or Hank Williams Jr.? You know the answer to that question. <laughs> well, you, you don't like Hank Williams Jr.? I do not. <laughs> So you were the same family tradition. No, oh my god. That one's that one's slow. He has a song called Jambalaya. Well yeah, that's my the My mom, my mom says, I want to hear your cheating heart. Your cheating heart will make you blue. And then the love I wear a shoe. <laughs> It, the tears won't come the whole night through. Your cheating heart will tell on you. You walk around and call my name. <laughs> I'll leave the same. I, my name is Shane. <laughs> You walk the floor the whole night through. Your cheating heart likes to sniff glue. My mother sent eight <laughs> clapping emojis. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Terry, I give it a sub to Hey Good Looking. Thank you. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Jambalaya. How's about cooking something up me? We have a minute left on that. Hey, sweet baby. Don't you think maybe we could find us a brand new recipe? He always says my favorite Hank William lyric. Mish, <laughs> I got a hot rod for it and a two dollar bill And I know a spot right over the hill There's soda pop and the dancing's free So if you wanna have fun, come along with me Oh, hey, good looking Well, what you got cooking? Jambalaya You wanna pull that off? Let's yes You'll need the, um, up gloves and then you can put it over no, here. This is no, no, you're no fun. There's no slicing, no burning. No fun here, no, no fun He's at all. playing it safe. All right. Where are we putting this? 
Oh boy. You ready for this? If I just drop it, it'll make a really great splash. It might. Oh, all right. So this is jambalaya. I believe you. Oh, that's looking jambalaya-ish. It is. There's my timer now. So um, it's supposed to stand for five minutes because it is a million degrees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, it'll thicken up a little It is, more. but we can start pulling the bay leaves out. I don't remember how many I put in. Seven. Was it seven? I don't know. It was gonna be five or six, and then you put in more. Here, Boop. put them on this. Boop. If you believe in yourself, Nothing can scald you. This is the most fun. It's I guess there was only leaves. one. We'll just. Oh no, this. there's more than one. There's one. Oh. Make sure you believe. And like you're only doing this so you don't accidentally eat one. They're yeah, fine. I mean they're not gonna kill you or anything. No. You'll just spit them out. But it'll ruin the, you know, the the fine dining atmosphere if you have to spit bay leaves out on your plate. We have a seven month resub from Bored Turtle. Thank you. Oh, here's one. I can like scoop it. Oh, oh there's one on this side. That's five. Paint oh. your hair in prison powder. Up two bowls of chili. Uh, there should be one more. There's at least one more in there. But will we ever find it? <gasps> no. Why do they make everything green on God's green earth? All right, there we go. Haley has eaten a bay leaf. I don't know if she was caught on camera doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, I think all that's it. All right. Okay, fine. It's a dried leaf with delicious jambalaya yeah. on it. Yeah. Well, I just licked it. All right. I just did it for comedic. <laughs> you, you did it silently and quietly so no one could see. For now it probably needs more salt. <laughs> okay, that's good. I, and yeah. it might need some pepper. Regular Abbott and Costello over here. All right. Oh. Go ahead. Moi. It's very hot. Okay. Oh, boy. This brings me back to the soup kitchen I used to go to in New Orleans when I was a well, vagrant during the Great Depression. <laughs> like, get a food or he has to put the camera down. Okay. I already have bowls. Thank you. Oh my god. It it's hot. Here's your bowl. You're so tall. You tried I'll try harder next time. Have you time. tried fixing that? <laughs> I didn't mm. do it. We could tonight. Mm. Oh, that's very I'll good. Try for your knives. Moderately oh. sharp. Sharp enough to cut your um, knee. You want me to test one? No. On my legs? Mm. No, I can tell this is scalding. Yeah, it's scalding hot. I just want flavor. The hot is the best part. Tim says, Alex talks so much about soup kitchens, I don't know if he's joking sometimes. Mm. Alex has never joked. Oh, that shrimp is very good. No one has ever died. No one has ever been <laughs> gaslit. Oh boy. This tastes good after That is egg. excellent. Yeah. The vegetables, the andouille, the shrimp, the rice. 
it all it all comes together so beautifully. Very good. It's extremely good. Mm hmm Hey, make this. I dare you. Do it, you all. Like it's very it's very hot. Temperature, not spice. Like 90 minutes. Mm-hmm. You gotta chop some things. That's it. But you can do the you can do the chopping all ahead of time. You can also buy things pre-chopped. Mm -hmm. You can, um, and you can just, you know, whistle Hank Williams while you while you chop, and the, the hours fly right by. Whistle while you chop. Mm -hmm. And if you are sensitive to spice, you can go to a smoked sausage instead of an andouille. This is not spicy though. But uh, did you have a sausage piece yet? Yeah. There's a little bit of heat to that. Oh, okay. I have found no heat. How many pepperonis? Mm, maybe two, Noah. Maybe three. Everyone is different. I have found no spice. I will say there has been no spice found. Now we're in order of height. More bars and more places. Marjorie. No, I'm kneeling. Yeah, you're way taller than This is a beautiful. Dish. <laughs> but when does they run your ticker? Oh yeah, I should run my ticker. I updated it today. Oh good. Hmm. Uh, thank you to my patrons for supporting me. Um, things are getting back to normal post surgery, so I am excited about that, and I'm excited to get back to painting at some point. Um, I'm not sure when. Not next week. Not ready for that yet. So hopefully soon I get back to painting, but there will be streams in the meantime. If you want to learn more about supporting me on Patreon and the stuff that comes with that or getting on our Discord, uh, AutoChaz has the links in the chat for you. I want to be the tallest. Here, let's trade. Someone, someone else, be short, you be short too. I want to be the tallest. This is the tallest I can go, so you are going to have to go down. I can't go any shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. You can tell her over, so. I'm on my knee. You okay? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're so short. You're doing it Catholic long. style over there. I got a nice padded. padded All right, head. we need a raid message. Hmm. Head I mean, celery shrimp goo. Yeah, Alex was on stream, so there should be a <laughs> no shortage of options for raid messages. Yeah, shrimp goo, real good. Yeah, I like shrimp goo. All right, we're gonna be raiding Tom Fox with shrimp goo. Oh, I know that person. I know him. He slept in my He's home. playing Pokemon <laughs> Infinite Fusion on a safari for a Quagsire. Mm. Like, does everybody Sounds know like that Tom. he's really tall? Yeah, Tom is actually tall. Have we talked about that? Because he stayed at our house. Tom is 12 feet tall. Yeah, he's yeah, 12, he's 12 feet, feet tall. I was really shocked about how tall he was, but he stayed mm. with us. But thanks everyone for being here. Go check out Tom and his quest to find a Quagsire. Thanks for watching us make jambalaya. It's Let fun. me know if you make it. It's very tasty. We'll a lot of flavor. You, we'll see you Thursday morning. Burning. Yeah, Thursday morning for breakfast stream. Oh yeah, Extra Life. And Extra Life is in 18 days. I sat on the floor and worked on a snibbling today. 18 days. All right, thanks everyone. Bye. Don't hurt Chess. I do. I, I did. Classic Tom. Oh, when you put more in the bowl, it's hot again. It was. It wasn't on the vlog, I'm sorry. He's, Not everything can be on the vlog. He stayed at our house and then he came downstairs. I don't live there anymore. So anyway, I used to live above the store I worked at, um, coincidentally. But anyway, he came downstairs and I, well, 
to have ultrasound. <laughs> Not an ultrasound, ultrasonic cleaner on his glasses. <laughs> you were like, you came downstairs, and I did an <laughs> ultrasound on Tom Fox, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> no, ultrasonic was, cleaner on the glasses. It was not a part of my job description. Mm. Mm. All right. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Steven, I can't reach the computer. I got it. Thank no you. I was expecting you to. I got it. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thanks See you for having stream. me. Thank you, Alex. Mm-hmm. See you Thursday. Bye.